Walmart had to get, run in and get a few things but you know I had to check their plant section and I'm glad I did because look what they have in clearance here I don't have one of these shingle plants shingle vines from um, trending tropicals they have them for five dollars that one's gonna crack but mmm look at that look at this one down here how much it's growing that needs a new shingle and they have some nice big bushes here these look like impatience and you can impatience seven dollars for these and there's still a lot of blooms on them. Some begonias, five dollars. Look at this for a little bambino fiddly fig, four dollars. And it's giving out new leaves. I'm not sure why this is here. Hmm. It's a cute little geraniums, four dollars. This bromeliads, five dollars in these cute little terracotta pots. So cute. And here's another bambino. This one looks a little bit well, those bottom leaves can be taken off. This is four dollars. Wow. Alan Coey, you know, it's five dollars. Two dollars for these. That's really good. Two dollars for these smaller impatience. Look at these Tritoscantias. Fourteen forty-eight. These are nice. I don't know what these are. Does this say? It just says Tritoscantia. Look at the bloom on that. Isn't that cool? It's a combination. I don't know what this is. It doesn't give you any name on it, but it's pretty for a hanging plant. Some sago palms down here. Some dracaenas. That's part of the uh, Plants with Benefits. 1998 for that dracaena. Dranges. 1998. Take a look at the other trending topicals. Trending tropicals and the plants with benefits, which is their line too. It's 1597 in this pot. Sago. Look at these. Vibrancy in that. These are 1984. This is ceramic and these are plastic. And here's some trubii. Blue. And this looks like an Aglaonema Maria, I think. It's a nice little Calathea. 1597. That's nice. And Silver Bay. Got a nice selection here of um, cacti and succulents. I am always on the lookout for the lemon meringue. I haven't found it yet. Here's $9.98 for this golden pothos. These are also plants with benefits. And this calathea. Pretty. These are $15.97. Those plants with benefits, the pots are uh, plastic, not ceramic, like the trending tropicals, so they're $15.97, but, you know, that's good. I don't care if the pot's not ceramic. So that's yeah. nice. Trending tropicals, there's the global green, $19.97, some more of the trubii. Raphidophora tetrasperma. These are all 19.98, along with the Galathea. This is the daddy, isn't it? It's look like in good shape. And they have some nice assortment of succulents. 
I had this one. I got mine here, 897. And these are um, trending tropicals. Also, their uh, Escape to the Desert line. And 347. Nineteen ninety-eight for these larger ones. Look at that Euphorbias. Those are nice. There's needles. Fifteen ninety-seven for those. These are the containers made easy. Just drop them in a container. And those are twenty-four ninety-six. It's not bad. They've got quite an assortment of plants in them. for these exotic angel ones hanging. These poor little bonsais look like they need water. They are so dry. 1997. Some nice pots. Bacchia. 1984. Nice. Some Aglaonema plants with benefits. 1997. And some golden pothos. This one looks different. That variegation looks different. So I just left Walmart. I won't tell you what I got just yet, but I'm over here at Lowe's because you know I'm ever on the hunt for that lemon meringue pothos from Trending Tropicals. And look at that. And what the heck? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay, calm down, Carmen. Take it easy. Take it easy now. So here is the lemon ring. Now look, they have a few here. And those of you friends that own a lemon meringue, um, is it supposed to change the variegation like this? I mean, part of it looks like a global green, and then part of it looks like a mandula maybe I know it's a hybrid and perhaps that's why there's another one down here so I don't know if I want to get the ones that has so much white on it oh god this is so confusing is that a good thing I think that's a good thing Okay, and this one looks fairly healthy. So, okay, and then they've got some Trubiais here. Very healthy. I don't have that one yet. And then they have some Raven ZZs. You know, it says two for $30, so I mean, I can't get just one. I have to obey the sign, right? And then on this side, they've got this nice arrangement from Live Trends and some smaller possible five inch pots, maybe. $15.98. Oh my gosh. Get out of here. Look at how cute that is. And they're like little cat eye glasses. <laughs> that is so cute. They have some nice plants. Oh, Mykins. Looks like it's seen better days, but the pot alone is adorable. Some larger pots down here. 
These are $24.98. And these are $22.98 for these three gallon fiddle leaf figs. And here they have some bromeliads, different bakias, some large zizis. can't see the prices on those. Let's see. I think these are 20. Well, these are $15.98. Wow, this ficus burgundy is $15.98. I have one already. But that's a good price. So, some, some more fiddle leaf. Some bonsais. Some orchids. Smaller ones are $14.98. Larger ones in the big pots, $39.98. Nice bonsai. So $26.98. Let's see what's back here. So the, here they have the Costa Farmers Wick and Grow. These are always $15.98. They have the ZZ, the uh, fiddle leaf fig, some nice looking pothos, some ferns. Oh, these are nice. God, they're almost like a purple, bluish tint to them. They're so pretty. It's a nice heart leaf philodendron there. That's fifteen ninety eight. $16.98 for these little bonsais in the wick and grow. Mommy's filming now, okay? Need to be quiet. Wow, I could not believe my luck. I found some great things there at both Walmart and Lowe's. Um, you know, I happened to stop in at Walmart because I needed a few things, but you know, you always got to check the plant section because you never know what you're going to find. And I'm glad I did. Let's start off with Walmart first. So in their clearance section, probably remember this guy from the footage there. This was the, the second fiddle leaf fig that I saw. This is a Bambino from the... Plants with Benefits collection from um, Costa Farms, and it was only four dollars. You believe that the uh, pot is plastic? That's how their Plants with Benefits uh, collection is. The these pots are plastic, but. I don't care <laughs> it was a great deal this is the one that had uh, some lower leaves that weren't looking so good so I went ahead and took them right off right then and there before I even purchased it and after I did that I noticed how really how well this plant looked it was a little bit of sun damage back here but that's okay this is going indoors in my bedroom actually along with a couple of other ficus trees that I have and I'll probably get a little stand for it because I think I'm going to place it on the floor and it looks wonderful I have already um, cleaned it up and given it some treatment in the sense of I took it did take a q-tip with some rubbing alcohol and went in all in between the leaves and up and down the stalk there and then sprayed it with some neem oil and it's going to be in quarantine for a little while just to make sure I didn't bring anything home with me um, before I put it out with the other plants so I'll probably put it in here somewhere in my plant room kind of separated from the other ones but this one for four dollars this ficus lorata fiddly fig bambino is a great deal at the walmart there the second one that i saw from in their clearance section and i didn't know i needed this one i had seen it for a long long time and it never really caught my eye until i saw this one and i saw the price this costa farms trending tropical shingle vine was only five dollars look at that 
that is wonderful this one also I've already given it a treatment um, took some rubbing alcohol on a q-tip went all the way through even on the shingle and everything and then sprayed it with some neem oil um, that's why it looks a little bit wet because I did that just before I started filming and it's outgrown its shingle for sure it needs a new plank uh, on it but I do have a trelly trellis that is about the width of this one but much much taller so that's the one I'm probably going to put on this one but I'm gonna wait about a week before I do that it's in a cocoa quar type of soil both this one and in the fiddly fig and that I'm going to uh, repot and put some fresh soil in it and then put a taller shingle or trellis in here so it can continue growing but other than that the i mean it's got all these area roots just looking for somewhere to grab onto so for five dollars i mean i could not leave this guy behind and this is from the trending tropicals line so this pot is ceramic so then I went up the road to Lowe's on my way home and I felt like, you know, like like a gambler, like I was on a winning streak. And I, I felt good about going into Lowe's and finding perhaps my lemon meringue pothos that I've been looking for, who knows? So I went into Lowe's and sure enough, you saw in the footage that they did have some lemon meringues and they were on sale. Trending Tropicals, wrote, Georgie, please. Trending Tropicals was having a sale. It was a two for thirty dollars, and I did find the lemon meringue. There it is, and I was a little bit confused as far as the coloration on it because some of it you can see the yellowness of it and why it's called lemon meringue you know on um, some of the foliage there but some of them were a little bit lighter so um i got to do my research on that to see you know i know this is a hybrid so you're going to get some variation on the leaves um but you know i kind of like this different variegation on it let me know friends if you have this one how does your variegation look does it look more yellow like that or does it look more is do you have some cream in there a combination part of it even looks like a global green so it's quite the um, combination of variegation on this one but for $15 I was happy to get it because um, one it's on sale and I just been looking for it for so long you know and I look, thought it was a very healthy looking plant um, this one I did spray some neem oil on it just in case it was inside it wasn't inside outside in a clearance section where it may have been more susceptible to you know the elements and bugs and all that stuff and I didn't see anything on it but I did spray it with some neem oil and it's gonna stay out in here in the plant room kind of separated from everybody else but I finally got my lemon meringue I was so happy so happy so I'm hoping that this will be a vigorous grower for me so the sign did say two for thirty dollars so I had to get two right so I went ahead and got this beautiful this was the biggest one they had this beautiful Raven ZZ look at this baby so tall I just gave him a spray of neem oil so that's why he's kind of shiny and purdy and um the stalks are just so big look at that very vigorous growth on him and I just loved it again for $15 I remember when these came out and they were $50 <laughs> You know, I thought this was such a great deal. So I was happy to pick him up and, um, you know, add him to my collection. I have a regular ZZ, regular green one that's growing profusely in my dining room. So this one, I'm not sure where I'm going to put after weeks of quarantine, one week of quarantine. Um, we'll see. We'll uh, probably be in the dining room also next to his cousin there. But this Raven ZZ nice and tall it's a couple feet tall and looks very healthy it's in that 
infamous cocoa coir soil that they put them all in so uh, you know I will be repotting all of these and putting them in fresh more chunky mix before they find their forever home in my home somewhere so there you have it friends what a lucky streak I had if I was closer to a Home Depot I would have gone to the Home Depot too I was feeling that lucky but it was late getting late and I wanted to come home already to these guys over here <laughs> Thanks so much, friends. I appreciate your uh, stopping by with me and going along with me to my little field trip there. If you enjoyed this video, enjoyed these plants, please give my video a thumbs up. I'm trying to wrap this along. Please give my video a thumbs up and then give it a like. I appreciate it. The dogs appreciate it. And let me know which one was your favorite. Which one was the best deal do you think that I got? Don't forget to subscribe, friends. I'll see you in the next video, okay? Have a blessed day. Bye-bye now.